culture means a lot and speak a lot. Uh, it's a very, it's very uh, exquisite language, uh, talking about um, refinement, extreme refinement. So yeah, it's a, it means a lot for me because it's also a way of life. Donc on fait le déchiqueté jaune. Hein? We'll have a yellow fringe here, not half an inch long, but this long. I think it look better this way. I think in the process of creativity for a collection, there is many steps to have to think about. The first one is probably to abandon yourself and to open the door to absorb every information. Um, for me, uh, what is the most important is to get the sensitivity. For me, it's just a matter of emotion. After that, there is a second process, which is, okay, now I can absorb information and, and uh, I can create according to those informations. Inspirations come from uh, modern art uh, or architecture. And uh, it's very important for me, the symmetry, the graphism, uh, the modernity and the, and the movement. Everything which has a strong movement uh, is important for me. Could you hold the second layer while walking? I guess you should hold both layers. That's it. Much better this way. Don't stop. Keep on walking. You made it rounded as I can see. Good idea. This looks great too. This is um, how I create fast with my instinct. It has to come immediately. If it doesn't come, it's, it means that there is something wrong. So I turn the page and I go somewhere else. I wanted the collection all in lightness, femininity and three dimension. You can see in the big arches in the construction of the dresses that the dress are like floating in the air, flying. This was the most important for me, to bring lightness to women. This summer, I wanted to turn the page about many things, with many things, and, uh, and, uh, and I just wanted to see light, light give energy and give power, the sun give power. So all my collection was turned uh, into this ray of light. It's puckering, you see? What we are going to do is to put it up here. And this part will alter to floor length. What I like is to give the uh, power to women. Sensuality, but power. And I give it by the, the strength I give in the cut. And because when a woman appears in a room with one of my dresses, she has this power. I believe that couture has to live according to the time. Uh, now, nowadays, women have a very stressful life. The real luxe is the time, to take your time. It's not gold and diamonds, it's not real estate, it's the time. For me, this is the most important richness. So I try to create a haute couture which answer to the demand of nowadays. This is the modernity of haute couture. I think it's important nowadays to bring new technology. And uh, this is what I've done for my last show, as I've done previously. We need to pin it up here and we'll see how it looks. Benjamin? Benjamin? Where are you? Pin it up here, please. 
I guess we should place it closer to the edge. This looks perfect, right in the place. Talent is not enough if you don't have the hands with you. And I'm very lucky to have one of the best ateliers in Paris. Haute couture, hands, the, 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 the ateliers in Paris are um, the diamonds on the crown of the haute couture. Uh, what is the talent if you don't have the hands to manufacture it? So it was very important to build my family when I opened my house. Um, the atelier of Jean-Louis Chéret followed me, and then another part of my atelier come from Christian Lacroix. It's a mix of generations and culture, and uh, it gives a good result. Nice cocktail. Each time I create a dress, I try to think of the price. The commercial aspects are very important. I know that some dresses can be very expensive, it's worth. And some others, I think I have to find the way to make it on a smaller price. So um, some of them, they have a lot of hours, like 200 hours, 300 hours, because it's all handmade. And some others, I want to find some technical aspect to make a better price. It's important. I'm thinking always of different aspects in my creations, always the creativity and the technology and the commercial aspect. More glamorous. Glamorous, glamorous. Yes, yes, yes. Voilà, much better. Super seductive, super, yes. Perfect. In life, I think you cannot explain everything. Uh, when you select the girls, after you have to choose which dress they will wear, uh, you just feel she's the good girl for this dress. It's also a matter of proportions, shoulders, color of the skin, the way she walks. You know that this girl will embody the best this dress. Yes, much better. Now, when you come back, a little bit faster. Yes, that's good. Cool. Thank you. The color looks beautiful. The color is nice. Yeah? Ah, you was blonde yesterday? Nieves Alvarez. Nieves, she's a Spanish model. She's a super top model. She was the last muse of Monsieur Yves Saint Laurent, but she's a goddess. And for me, no matter the age, I mean, she's just wow. The way she walks, the way she embodies the dresses is, nowadays, it's like a miracle. And uh, she's just a dream. I'm working a lot to build strong family around me to bring my house in a beautiful future. Um, everything is about strategy, everything is about marketing, but I need the right people at the right place. The most difficult is to find the right people. And you know if they are the good ones with time. The future of the brand is really to develop the Prêt-à-Porter, to preserve the haute couture, of course, because it's the diamond of the crown. 